Hello everybody, Brandon here, and today we're going to take a look at this new Gulag that came as a part of the Season 4 Black Ops Cold War Warzone trailer reveal that came out to die. And essentially, it's going to be hijacked. Now, we've kind of seen a common theme with Black Ops Cold War Gulags, especially since the past two have been pretty rubbish, as per the community and myself included. Nuketown wasn't that great in the beginning. There was an entire section where there was a head glitch on one side, the other side had nothing. Standoff had way too many flaws. I believe a, a 1v1 should really be no verticality. And it seems like this gulag, as far as I can tell, kind of delivers that, aside from the little hot tub mantle area. The balcony from Black Ops 2's hijacked is actually completely absent. I think it's replaced by the catwalks that you spectate on. And this video also serves as really a discussion about the gulag, because lately in Cold War, we're seeing these more and more corrosive gulags, you know. Standoff had too many levels. You had too many cars, one side had a car and an entire head glitch, and couple that with a shotgun and magnum where everything's up to lock and just spamming, and you basically have yourself a single-sided gunfight just because of your map layout. Nuketown had to have a whole piece of cover added in the middle season one, that didn't go over still too well because there was a little crack between two areas on the other side of the car that you could shoot through, and Rebirth Gulag has been nothing but a maze, but at least it didn't have verticality. Now, Standoff didn't do it too well because there was a 50-50 chance. Did you get the right side, and did you get the right weapons? Now, lately, Cold War has kind of shifted away in Season 3 from the this week we get LMGs and ARs, next week we had snipers. Basically, weapon classes, as we know, came out week by week. Uh, almost on a bi-weekly basis at the end of Season 2. Now it's just whatever they throw at us. Personally, again, we have a Kimbo's now. I don't think they should be in the Gulag. They have no place being there because it's completely locked and it takes the skill out of a gunfight. That being said, let's take it back to Hijacked. Hijacked is a pretty good map from Black Ops 2 to remake if you really want to make a Gulag. There was that little place on the right side that you can camp inside the little atrium area and then on the left side there's that hot tub. In the middle it's kind of no man's land where you can see from both angles. I don't know where the spawn points would be. I would assume they're not going to add the full-on buildings. That's not what the the footage shows, but the buildings on both sides of the yacht aren't really present. And of course, this gulag is because they're adding hijacked in the Black Ops Cold War Season 4, because why wouldn't they just remaster another Black Ops 2 map? This is, I think, the third one they've already done so far. Fourth one, actually, because of Standoff, too. So as far as I can tell, it looks pretty straightforward. I feel like there might be a few hegliting issues with the hot tub. I was talking to Discord group earlier about how, in the original hijack to Black Ops 2, the balconies that you could head on on top, there was a little couch on both sides that you could stand on. You can like, if you shimmied your way against the side of where the balcony edge was, where the wall was, only your helmet would be visible. You couldn't even really see your gun stick through the wall. That's completely absent, replaced by the catwalks. And another thing about that that I like in this gulag so far, not saying that I like the gulag, but it's better than standoff because in standoff, when I first played standoff, and I'm sure many of you are guilty of this, there's a little window that in the original Black Ops 2 map, you could actually go inside the house that was part of the sniper alley. There were two buildings you could snipe over the streets. Well, that little house you could go inside of, and the first time I played it, and maybe you too, I shot at people that were spectating in the windows throwing rocks thinking it was the enemy, only to get killed later on. Clearly, that's not going to be in hijacked. I don't know if that was some maniacal thing that Raven was doing to try to troll us or what it was. It was just a cool little feature. Regardless, I don't really think there should be that many distractions or, or levels or flaws in the gulag, but that's just me. Let me know what you think down below. I personally think that the OG showers should come back. I mean, they're in the game. They're still in the game's files. If you play Warzone Privet Match with bots, with the Warzone orientation training, you could still play the OG gulag with the Cold War weapons and all those mechanics. And on top of that, in the cutscene, in the other cutscenes for the gulag, it still shows the showers. So there's still some allusion to the gulag there. But I don't reckon we're going to see that. That being said, I'm sure Season 5, whatever nonsensical Black Ops 2 map, maybe Grind or something that comes back, God forbid that, we'll have another Black Ops 2 map probably iterated into the mix here as the next season's Gulag. But let me know what you think down below about this Gulag system. That being said, I'm Sodlox, and I'm signing out.